I'm Henk de Kato Rudemaker. Um, I'm a retired surgeon uh, in gastroenterology and gastrointestinal surgery. I was involved w with laparoscopic training in the very early days of laparoscopy. And I was once asked uh, to present about serious gaming um, because we had a lot of uh, simulators in our skill center. At that moment, I realized that I was at the wrong place or I was the wrong person because what we did with simulators in our skills lab was uh, training stuff, but um, it was serious, serious, very serious, but it was absolutely not a game. And I uh, realized then at that very moment when I was waiting to present that that was our basic uh, problem, uh, very serious, but no game. And I realized that uh, residents, that was perhaps the reason why we couldn't get residents into the skill center to train on those laparoscopic uh, simulators. And in the meantime, I, I could find them in the, in the ward uh, playing Angry Birds or games like that. So it was not nothing against uh, computers. It was something against something that is boring. So that brought us to the idea, uh, let's try to make a game to tease them into the skill center. I, I came to the idea that we needed to develop a game. Um, so, of course, we needed um, a, a game developer, and it started with uh, hardware. How could we uh, introduce the limitations of uh, laparoscopic uh, skills into a game? So, at that moment, it was the Nintendo Wii, the first generation, um, that really could do the fine motion tracking that we needed uh, to, to simulate uh, laparoscopy. And that brought us to uh, Grendel Games in, in Leeuwarden. We, we, we moved forward from there on uh, creating hardware, creating games, uh, and it ended up with um, Underground. We wanted to have the, the, for the construct validity uh, the same limitations as in laparoscopy. So we found something with uh, a pivot point, because normally the pivot point is your abdominal wall, and in this uh, uh, setup, it's a, it's a sort of oar lock where, the, where the, the, the bar of your laparoscopic instrument is positioned in. And, of course, uh, it is a rigid instrument. Uh, you, don't have, um, you don't feel anything that's the same as in laparoscopic surgery. Um, you have a, a, a lack of depth perception, and all the difficulties are exactly the same as in, in laparoscopy. The Wii mode is, uh, is responsible for, for positioning um, in the game. It's looking at, uh, at infrared lights, so that gives you the very exact position in, in your virtual world. And again, it has the same feeling as in laparoscopic instruments. You, know, you have your thumb position for your scissors, your graspers, etc. It has a turning knob, so you can rotate your instruments. So everything that is in laparoscopic instruments is in this setup. So that makes it very useful for, for training the basic skills in a virtual world with something completely different from lapar laparoscopy. You're looking for construct validity, and again, with the right setup of instruments, it works. And it gives you exactly the same limitations, and it trains exactly what you need in laparoscopic surgery. We did uh, validation studies because we wanted to be sure that, um, that, that residents would recognize this as something that really resembles laparoscopy. So in the first instance, it was important that it has a face validity, that it should feel and act like real laparoscopic instruments. We did that study and it scored very high in the face validity. The other thing, of course, is that you train exactly what is needed in laparoscopic uh, surgery. So the construct validity is very, very important. So that means that if you played the game for a long time, that you could easily step into laparoscopic surgery and you had the, the basic skills and that's something that you are normally lacking when you're uh, starting in laparoscopic surgery because everything is different. It's, uh, everything moves different, differently, etc., etc. There was a nice example because we, 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 we promoted the game once in the big skin, uh, training center. Um, um, the, the chief um, said, well, uh, this is easy because um, yeah, he used it immediately and he had immediately a high score in, in, in the game. And that, that really was a proof, again, a proof that it really uh, trained the movements that are needed for laparoscopic surgery. And, uh, and, and he said, well, this is easy. You don't learn anything. Well, give it, give it to a basic uh, starting resident. And he was struggling because he was struggling with the basic skills in laparoscopic surgery. Again, so that's, that's one sort of um, uh, construct validity. Some, somebody who is experienced should be 
immediately uh, familiar with the instruments and should have a high score because uh, the game is the only difficulty, but it's not the movement itself that's a difficulty. Underground 2 will give us the opportunity to um, improve in almost everything. No game is ever built in, in one version. We are going now to 2, improve on, on, uh, on, on, on the possibilities so that it is available for a broader public, um, in, even in developing countries, because you don't need a very difficult setup uh, to train the real basic skills in laparoscopy.